hello everyone welcome back to my channel and yes i know i haven't uh, been around for a long time and i was really really busy with my phd work uh, those who are doing the phd they can understand that it's hard to manage your work-life balance but still i hope you guys are doing fine and namaste so today's video is about my expenses and the money uh, how much I spend in a month and everything. So I'm gonna discuss in detail the things that I spend the money on. So let's start the video and don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button and keep supporting the channel. So, so coming to the first and the most important thing, how expensive are the houses in Spain? So first thing, it depends on your city. So if you're living in bigger cities like Madrid, Barcelona, the rents are like quite high. Like, uh, yeah, so I don't live there. So in my city, the rent is comparatively lower. Not that low, but it's lower. Come to my city, that is Saragossa. So for example, the house that I live is like for four people. And it's it has like shared bathroom, shared kitchen and living room. So these three places are quite small and uh, the room, my room is fine. But yeah, if your friends, uh, friends or something wants to stay over, they can because there is no space. But for one person, I think it's fine. So the, ex uh, the rent is uh, 220 euros. It goes up to like 250 and with um, like it depends on the room. Uh, so every room, the bigger the room, the more is the rent so it goes like that so it's like for me right now i am paying 220 plus expenses so in summers the expenses are around 40 50 40 euros or maximum 50 or maybe nearly because we pay the gas bills we pay the water bills we pay the bills for the electricity and in winters it goes higher because of central heating so we have heating in the houses in spain so i have talked about the rent it depends and i have friends who are living in a a T1 apartment they pay around 550 euros and plus the bills and it depends where you stay for three people the rent might be almost similar to mine it depends on the size of the room and also the size of the apartment so, addition to this uh, I pay for the internet uh, so uh, every house mostly they give you Wi-Fi and that is included in the rent but for example you go outside and you uh, need your own internet too so in Portugal I had a number that covers everywhere in Europe so I am still using that number but because it uh, after four months it charges me for the roaming I pay around 29 30 euros for that every month now and since my uh, grant is from Portugal I need that number I can't turn it off so uh, yeah I'm paying more in that case my friend she was telling me that she ca you can get like around 10 or 15 euros you can get like um, good amount of the 25 GB or something and coming to the transport so to transport in my city is quite cheap uh, we have like the bus passes that charges uh, we can charge that pass for 10 euros 20 up to 50 euros and we can use it so since I go to the university every day like Monday to Friday and maybe I take buses sometimes on the weekends too but I will tell you because, um, the amount that I need for two weeks. So I spend around 14, 15 euros for two weeks. So it's not that much of money if you compare it with the bigger cities. Yeah, there might be a bit more like in Madrid. It's a bit more than here. I don't know exactly how much, but it's a bit more. And Barcelona is even higher. So yeah, for me, I pay for the transport around 15 to 20 euros. Uh, every two weeks like for 14 days my pass works then coming to the uh, health if you take care of your health and you want to join a gym so you pay around like from what I know from my friends I don't go to the gym I work out sometimes at home so uh, in that case they pay 30 euros per month and that's like a fees for the gym and you can use it all day and including this for um, i have some other expenses like i go out with my friends to eat and then i do some sports activities like i go bouldering and i play 
paddle uh, paddle you can say it's not very famous in india but it's a very famous game in europe and i think in america too so for that i spend around if we uh, technically we go every week one time for each activity so uh, if i go paddle for four times a month i spend around 22 euros because we we have to book the court i have my racket otherwise i have to pay for the racket so yeah it, and then for bouldering we i have uh, like uh, 10 pass and like so the 10 passes is for 81 euros and i go four times so i can use like four passes every month so you can divide and use it other than that uh, eating outside in spain can be very expensive and uh, if i if you go out for once uh, every month or two times you will spend around 50 10 15 euros a minimum so i don't think i have ever spend like if i'm going to eat in a good place or something i spend around 15 to 25 euros and yeah so if i go decide that okay let's go for dinner like two times or three times a month i can spend around 50 to 70 euros um yeah the grocery so coming to the grocery expenses can go up to 220 to 50 euros every month uh, it depends on the kind of food you consume and then um generally in the university i take coffees every day so you can imagine like it's 131 euro 35 cents so it's like if i work 25 days a week ooh, i spend around 34 euros on coffee so yeah so and if i eat something then a bit more like you can say 40 euros so these are my major expenses that i like spend spend every month and maybe i do some kind of shopping for clothes for basic necessities like hair like for your hairs for your yeah makeup and yeah for for like health you can spend a bit more like on medicines etc so there are a lot of expenses that you might not have that i have and uh, maybe you will have some different kind of expenses too but yeah so the major ones i talked about is this and please keep in mind that these depend on the city on the way you live the on and according to the place you live yeah i think i have given you all the info, uh, important information and yeah if you need to know something else about spain and out portugal do write me in the comments or write me personally the links of my linkedin and my instagram is in my bio like the about of your youtube and don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe button and support my channel please and stay tuned for amazing videos because yeah i will try to be more regular so keep supporting till then and love you all bye take care